So for the longest time, the best way to train an AI model was to make it fight itself. This is named the General Adversarial Networks or GANs, and it's basically two neural networks at war. But let me make an example and tell you how it learns to generate images. The generator neural network is working to create a AI generated image of a face, for example. And then there's a detective neural network which is trying to spot the difference between a real photo of a face and an AI generated photo of a face created by the generator. Now, at first, the generator is terrible. It's not very good at creating uh, faces that are realistically looking, which makes things very easy for the detective who is catching all of the fakes. In time, the generator learns from its mistakes it gets better and better and it actually makes it quite hard for the detective to spot the fake so hard that at one point it cannot differentiate between a real photo and a fake. This is when the AI generated photo is at its best, at its finest and this competition is what helps create the hyper-realistic photos that we have today in Gen AI art or picture generations in general. Well, that and training the generator on lots and lots of data examples. Now, knowing all of this, what do you think about GANs? You thought ChatGPT was generating everything, right? No, it's a different model.